Please be seated. As Pro-Chancellor of the University, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this morning's ceremony for the School of Health and Social Work. May I introduce the platform party and welcome, on my right, Professor John Senior, Pro-Vice-Chancellor, Research and International. On my immediate left, is Mr. Stelio Stefanou, who will be receiving an honorary degree of Doctor of Laws. And on my far left is Professor Quintin McCullough, Vice Chancellor of the University. May I also welcome our graduates, their relatives and friends to this morning's ceremony, and our special guests, Mrs. Stefanou, and members of the University Court. We will now proceed with the conferment of awards, and I have pleasure in calling upon Professor McKellar to read the citation for conferment of the honorary award of Doctor of Laws on Mr. Stelio Stefanou. Pro-Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present for the award of Doctor of Laws, Mr. Stelio Stefanou. Our university is proud of the role we play within the local community and in making Hertfordshire a better place to live, work and study. Therefore, we are delighted to be honouring a respected entrepreneur turned philanthropist whose work is having a positive impact on people across the county and also in the wider economy. Stelio Stefanou stepped down from a highly successful business career in 2007 to concentrate on charitable activities. He now channels his expertise and resources into initiatives that support some of the most vulnerable members of society. For example, he's a trustee of Tomorrow's People, a national organization helping excluded or disadvantaged people to find and keep a job. As a patron of Hertfordshire Action on Disability, he actively supports the county's efforts to ensure disabled and elderly people remain independent and mobile. Stelio is also passionate about empowering people to make positive changes to their lives. For example, young people who have been in care becoming social workers or turning scientific ideas into viable businesses. Through the Stefano Foundation, he invests in programs and projects with the potential to have a real social or economic impact. In doing so, he works with partners to break new ground, embed innovative approaches and share the lessons. One area where Stelio's foundation aims to make a difference is the well-being of the very young and the very old. For instance, it is currently funding the development of a program which it hopes will mark a breakthrough in protecting babies from the impact of being born into domestic abuse. Healthy Relationships, Healthy Baby as it's called, offers holistic support to help parents to break the cycle of abuse and nurture good infant development. It is being piloted in cooperation with professionals in the health, police and probation services. Stelio has also joined other prominent business people in kickstarting a £20 million venture to support early stage technology enterprises. His organisation is one of the founding donors to the Royal Society's Enterprise Fund. By making commercial investments, the fund helps scientific entrepreneurs to bring their products to market. For example, Novasem, which makes carbon negative cement, is now considered one of the most promising clean technology companies worldwide. Many other innovative projects are delivering tangible benefits, including 
the Da Vinci robot at the Lister Hospital near Stevenage. Together with Stelio's brother, Steph, the foundation has helped to fund this leading edge technology, which enables surgeons to perform certain urological procedures more accurately than ever before. For patients in East and North Hertfordshire, the new Da Vinci system means safer operations, fewer side effects, and quicker recovery times. By his own admission, Stelio had a potentially confusing start in life. He was born in Egypt to a Greek Cypriot parents with British nationality in an American car on the way to a French hospital. What was clear, however, was that Stelio had a head for business. And after his family moved to the UK at the time of the Suez Crisis, he took business studies as an option alongside chemistry and later worked in senior roles at Esso and John Doyle Group, the construction firm based in Wellin, where he was chief executive during the late 1980s and 1990s. He went on to build up the facilities uh, management company Accord PLC, successfully steering its sale to Enterprise PLC for 180 million pounds in 2007. Stelio was awarded an OBE in 2004 for his services to business. Although he draws on his experience in his philanthropy, Stelio has found that leading a company and running a charity are quite different. He has had to adapt and learn new skills, but takes inspiration from his father, who opened a shop after he arrived in the UK with almost nothing. He says, it taught me never to be afraid of failure because you can always start again. Stelio plays an active part in public life and is currently one of the county's deputy Lord Lieutenants, as well as a member of the University Court. He has previously served as chairman of the CBI Eastern Region, chairman of Hertfordshire Learning and Skills Council, and as a board member of the East of England Development Agency. Pro-Chancellor, in recognition of his exceptional contribution as founder and chairman of the Stefanu Foundation and his charitable work within the county of Hertfordshire, I ask you to confer the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws on Stelio Stefanu. I now call upon Dr. Stefanou to address the assembly. Pro-Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Um, first of all, um, it was, uh, thank you very much for the citation, Quintin. Um, I really didn't recognize myself in all of that at all, uh, but it's very kind of you to say some of those things, uh, though greatly exaggerated. Um, but I would like to thank the uh, University of Hertfordshire for this honor. It means a lot to me. Um, I've lived and worked in Hertfordshire for 33 years. Uh, I've set up a business, um, eventually employing 4,000 people, um, eventually sold it, about six years ago, and then established a charitable foundation. And as Quinton has said, they include projects such as Healthy Relationships, Healthy Relationships, Healthy Baby, um, and a contribution to the robotic operating machine um, at the Lister Hospital. I won't go through and explain all of those because Quinton has done a very good job of doing some of the, uh, explaining some of the projects. Um, but just to say about the Foundation's approach, um, our aim is not just to give out money. That doesn't really interest us so much. 
Um, our main aim is to research tough issues, try to understand them, try to understand why certain things are difficult, difficult to solve, and then invest in solving the problems. How successful we'll be, I think time will tell, but that's the approach we want to take. Um, but the graduates here have worked very hard to achieve their degrees, and it's a great day for them and for their families who have come to witness um, them receiving their, um, their degrees. And what I'd like to do is just share three thoughts um, with them as they start their new life after university. And those three things have served me well over the years, and I hope they may help you as well. Um, the three things are, as I would call it, a job well done, people, and values. To explain each of those, a job well done is no matter what your role is, no matter how senior or junior you are, it's about doing a good job, doing it as though you mean it, um, putting thought and effort into it. So whether you're on ground level or whether you're leading an organi a large organization, um, it's the amount of effort and thought you put into it that makes the real difference. And I'll give you an example. Um, we had a chap called Alan in our company, um, and he was a cleaner and caretaker. He did his job superbly well. He would make his lists, he would work through them diligently, he would have his annual schedule of the jobs he was going to do, and he was a thorough professional at what he did. For me, Alan was as valuable to the company as any senior manager or director. And that's the dignity that you get from doing any job extremely well. The second one is people, because in this age where we all have equipment, computers, uh, iPods, iPads, iPhones, we sometimes forget about people. And what will lead you to success in your future lives is always to remember the people because machinery and equipment can only aid you, but it can't actually um, achieve the results that you, you, want to, you want to achieve. People can either help you to succeed or they can make you fail if you disregard them. And it's always important to work through people and with people, and it makes life and work much more fun as well. The one thing I miss about the company is the senior team that we had and the junior team and all the people I used to go and visit who used to um, repair roads, repair buildings, uh, sweep streets. Um, and I made a point of meeting every single one in the company at least once a year and going and speaking to them face to face. That's what I miss about the company. Finally, values. Um, I would recommend that you think through, take a day somewhere, it might be a Sunday, a Saturday, whatever it might be, take a day and sit down with a piece of paper and a pen and write down what your core values are and then stick to them throughout your life, never forget them, keep that piece of paper with you forever because it's, it's a valuable steer to what you do because um, the way you do things will change over a period of time. The way organizations do things will change. The culture in any organization has to change if it's going to develop. But you always measure those changes according to your core values, which never change. And what I found is that's helped me all the way through my life. Um, in fact, we printed them for every single member of the company when we had 4,000 employees, and I still have mine today, uh, because it's, it's a valuable um, measure. Um, but it, it also uh, ensures that um, you know when you're trying to make difficult decisions, you have something to go back and refer to. Also, whenever I've departed from those core values, I have always regretted it. So that's um, one thing I would leave with you. I've spoken for long enough. 
Um, I'd just like to finish by saying congratulations to you all on receiving your degrees. It's a great achievement that will be valuable throughout your lives. Good luck for the future, and thank you for listening to me. Thank you, Dr. Stefanou. <clears throat> we shall now receive the graduates of the School of Health and Social Work. Graduates are presented by a senior member of the academic staff from their school. Awards, sponsorships, and prizes that have been given in the final year of study will be read out prior to the graduate's name. I first call upon Professor Sally Kendall. Doctor of Philosophy. Anna-Marie Kathleen Brown has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled The Development and Validation of a Self-Efficacy Tool for People Over 60 with Venous Leg Ulceration. Pro-Chancellor, Doctor Anna-Marie Kathleen Brown. Doctor of Philosophy. Martha Joanna Cahill has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled An Exploration of the Nature of Patient Participation Within the Context of the Acute Surgical Care Setting, a Grounded Theory Study. Pro-Chancellor, Dr. Martha Joanna Cahill. Department of Adult Nursing and Primary Care. Bachelor of Science degree in Contemporary Nursing, Lauren Michelle Cable. <laughs> Tracy Martina Courtney. Carol Ferdinandes. Rita Kerr. Pascalina Mulu. Oripa Munyukwi. Adafunki Olafunki Osanyang Bemi. Marianne Lois Parfit. Bachelor of Science degree in Healthcare, Sujui Champika Hetigoda. <laughs> Esther Magella Mongare. <laughs> Janice Penman.
Sarah Prindeville. Daniela Tolentino. Bachelor of Science degree in International Nursing, Ed Martin Alburo. <laughs> Samangika Nadishani Amadura. <laughs> Charmika Di Gudamodara Kasturi Arachalaji. Bachelor of Science degree in Oncology Nursing, Claire Jane Griffin. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Specialist Community Nursing, Lucy Jane Denise Comley. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Specialist Community Nursing, District Nursing, with first class honours and winner of a university prize, Sandra Ann Craig. <laughs> Mark Anthony Williamson. Bachelor of Science degree in Specialist Community Public Health Visiting, Emma Joanne Bacon. <laughs> Kaylee Biggs. <laughs> Hannah Charlotte Cherry. Tracy Amanda Cousin. <laughs> Natalie Jane Evans. <laughs> Pauline Farndale. With first class honours, Catherine Ann Hampson. <laughs> Natasha Cherry Hendricks. <laughs> Bernadette Bridget Hughes. Kamaldip Kaur Johal. Sarah Louise Jones. Catherine Ann Macarivi. With first class honours, Alison Jane Minnie. <laughs> Julie Ann Rita Moran. <laughs> With first class honours and winner of a university prize, Catherine Frances Perry. Laura Ann South. Jack Squires.
Tina Dorothy Thompson. Julie Thompson. Jean Cowan Torrance. Angela Watson. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Specialist Community Public Health Nursing, Health Visiting, Rebecca Baker. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Nursing, Anne Kitondo Allison. <laughs> Tare Precious Anigboro. <laughs> Mercy Azare. With first class honours, Claire Esther Attard Montalto. <laughs> Katie Bacon. <laughs> Eunice Owusu Bohen. Danielle Jane Brown. <laughs> Louise Chrysostomou. <laughs> Jade Conway. <laughs> With first class honors, Hannah Louise Davis. <laughs> Lauren Katie Deer. <laughs> Gloria Ducardi Nelson. With first class honours, Rachel Sophia Dixon. <laughs> Leandra Rebecca Petrona Dinal. <laughs> Joyce Ido. Stephanie Camone Folks. <laughs> Abigail Jade Foster. <laughs> Yuan Gao. Litu Gayuchan <laughs> Lynn Helen Gordon <laughs> Jody Anne Marie Graham <laughs> Shivani Gupta With first class honours, Hannah Louisa Elizabeth Guyver. <laughs> Yasmin Halil. <laughs> J. 
Chiara Hayes. <laughs> Melina Heiler. <laughs> With first class honours, Carolyn Ann Hogg. Anya Holcomb. <laughs> Rosanna Margaret Powell Hughes. <laughs> Nicola Lucy Johnson. Amy Louise Josland. <laughs> Ruta Caccinini. <laughs> Nana Akua Adoma Kuma. Tracy Ann Larkins. <laughs> Jenny Frances Lynch. <laughs> Sita Pratap Mayer. Gemma Makoskete. <laughs> With first class honours, Gertrude Maconi. <laughs> Heather Ann Martin. With first class honours, Alexa Gemma Masters. <laughs> With first class honours, Christian Jan Miskak. Michelle Louise Morgan. <laughs> Adeline Botilla. <laughs> Mary Regine Botilla. Tapiwa Brenda Mposhi. <laughs> Lynette Mupupoma. Deep Cornandra <laughs> Sukane G <laughs> Cleona O'Donovan. Adoniki Adekalapo Ogunjobi. Mm. 
Victoria Isabel Oliver. Hannah O'Mara. Wendy Diane Udemans. Prina Devji Patel. Hannah Louise Pilkington. With first class honours, Emma Louise Pope. Aishat Teniola Folishade Quadri. Emilia Dedi Kwashiga. Roshin Marie Quill. <laughs> Helen Marie Roberts. <laughs> With first class honours, Natalie Leanne Rowe. Stephanie Ryan. <laughs> Stephanie Sands. <laughs> With first class honours and winner of the University Prize, Jack David Seymour. Victoria Amy Short. <laughs> Monica Talensinger. <laughs> Vicky Louise Taylor. With first class honours, Petrina Constance Thomas. Erin Louise Thorne. With first class honours, Nizana Tubin Evans. Julie Woods. <laughs> Sipiwi Zamba. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in nursing adult with first class honors, Nicola Addington. Angela Atto. <laughs> Jamila Boteng. <laughs> Rebecca April Burt.
Yasmin Bibi Kasim. With first class honours, Jane Chappelle. Sarah Elizabeth Cutts. Antoniette Mina Drake. With first class honors, Olesei Hastrup. Bibi Hafiza Hazari. <clears throat> Portia Philomena Quatemar. <clears throat> Sarah Louise Lee. Alison Jane Lewis. Connor Murphy. Amoso Maria Ogpalofi. With first class honours, Charlotte Orme. <clears throat> Katie Elizabeth Palmer. Cecilia Elisabetta Sousa Pontes Vera Cruz Castello David. <clears throat> Haley Louise Shannon. <clears throat> Selena Ann Elizabeth Rose Small. Islamiat Adula Abdul Salam. <clears throat> Kelly Ann Aldridge. <clears throat> Lisa Amoy Allen. Melissa Jade Asbury. <clears throat> Rebecca Jo Barton. <clears throat> Haley Nadine Burt. <clears throat> Jody Lee Bishop. Alison Kate Blythe. <clears throat> Mariam Bouchada. <clears throat> Jennifer Karen Burley. <clears throat> Amanda Campbell. Rosanna Angela Carter. <clears throat> T 
Tara Louise Dorrit. Kate Alexandra Dybel. Rebecca Jane Foreman. <laughs> Stephanie Azari Gambra. <laughs> Sophie Denise Gilbert. Victoria Amelia Green. <laughs> Evodia Hamar. <laughs> Haja Kadi Jalo. Rakiatu King. Edel O'Malley. Hannah Odufua. Abigail Dulapo BK Oloposi. <laughs> Olofun Milayo Lanre Olofinjana. <laughs> Alexandra Emma Packer. Dina Prempe. <laughs> Caroline Sharp. <laughs> Rebecca Elizabeth Smith Birchnell. Donna Marie Tyler. <laughs> Christiana Vierforianu. <laughs> Li Jun Xie Smith. Enhanced Diploma in Nursing, Adult. Brittany Daisy Adamson. <laughs> Mariam Asimwe Amoran. <laughs> Agnes Berry. Donna Marie Dorothy Fox. <laughs> Zawi Gominska. <laughs> Lucy Danielle Joan Harrison. Medina Islo. <laughs> Katie Rita Jepson. <laughs> Emma Katie Park.
Nabil Rasool. Emma Louise Seaman. Veronica Tembo. Jennifer May Nina Windle. Diploma of Higher Education in Health Studies, Maumi Segla Ozopalide. <laughs> Diploma of Higher Education in Nursing, Adult, Princess Alexandra Awura Afua Agbli. Rebecca Jane Anderson. <laughs> Joanne Dawn Janine Appleby. <laughs> Timothy Barrett. <laughs> Laura Jo Bryan. Sandra Mary Carr. <laughs> Mary Coca Ogunsola. <laughs> Ashlyn Considine. <laughs> Orla Coughlin. Laura Ann Cowley. Gina Creasy. Danielle Christina Chantel Daniel. Diane Davidson. <laughs> Emma Davidson. <laughs> Gemma Lee Davis. Jemima Jean Emmons. <laughs> Ilam Abdikarin Farah. <laughs> With distinction, Susan Gordon. Roxanne Aricia Hamilton. <laughs> Hannah Louise Harvey. <laughs> Jane Hennebury. <laughs> Amy Hooley. Lorraine Susanna Houston. <laughs> Hassana Ibrahim. <laughs> Genevieve Icheku.
Chengatai Lydia Itai. Rebecca Jashek. Daryl Laura Johnston. Modron Kahonde. Esther Macamo. Priska Masaila. Grace Arma Math. Kylie Marion McGlue. Yasmin Mitra Mohadis Sadre Sarah Elizabeth Morgan Lisa Jane Murphy Nicola Jane Noah. <laughs> Bibi Nazir Nazir. <laughs> Mary Niamap Fenny. Jennifer Jane Onion. <laughs> Lauren Alice Parry. <laughs> Kirsten Rianne Porter. Christine Joy Castellano Romando. <laughs> Emily Victoria Rogerson. <laughs> Mariato Sese. Lindsay Grace Sylvester. <laughs> Cynthia Zimba. Eleanor Sarah Ann Toner. Sarah Uzoma. With distinction, Holly Elizabeth Waterman. Beth Winning.
that concludes the presentation of awards. I now have pleasure in calling upon Jack Seymour to address the assembly on behalf of the graduates. Jack. Pro-Chancellor, Dr. Stefanu, Vice-Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen. I have been asked by the Department of Adult Nursing and Primary Care to say a few words of thanks on behalf of us newly qualified nurses. I've been asked to keep this short. Uh, those of you who know me well will know I will find this difficult. So in looking to prioritize what to say, who to thank specifically, etc., I asked a few of my colleagues and two names actually came up repeatedly. I would therefore like to send the special thanks of the nursing graduates and my own sincere personal thanks to Mr. Anthony Wilden, adult field lead. Thank you, Anthony, for being helpful and informative throughout our course. I'm embarrassed you now, but... <laughs> um, also, we would like to actually give a very, very special mention to Mrs. Debbie Davis, who sadly passed away earlier this year. I know that she was a source of inspiration to a lot of us, including myself, in the September 2010 cohort, and her advice, knowledge, and good humor will be missed. Uh, it's been a great few years, and I have a lot of positive memories. One in particular was our trip to Liverpool this year for the Royal College of Nursing Conference 2013. And I would like to thank our fellow student and student representative, Lynn Gordon, for organizing this trip. Thank you, Lynn. Finally, I would like to state what a positive influence we can have on the health service as new nurses. Anyone who glimpses the news can tell that this is a challenging time for the health service. In answer to this, and in the style of school assemblies everywhere, I would like to read a quote from one Florence Nightingale, who said, so never lose an opportunity of urging a practical beginning, however small, for it is wonderful how often in such matters the mustard seed germinates and roots itself. To translate that into modern English, Never understand the difference your actions, however humble, can make in the world in the long run. I look at the projects Mr. Stefano is involved, Dr. Stefano is involved with, the Stefano Foundation tells me that he shares this vision. I'd also just like to say that I love my job, and I don't know how many people can genuinely say that. I'm still learning, still getting there, probably about 80, 20 at the moment, but I can honestly say that I love my job as a nurse. Pro-Chancellor, thank you for receiving the graduates of the Department of Adult Nursing and Primary Care. Colleagues, it's been a pleasure studying with you, and good luck for the future. Thank you. Thank you, Jack, for those words. As a trustee of the Florence Nightingale Foundation, I endorse and support your quoting of the Venerable Dame. Thank you. Well, it now rests with me to conclude the ceremony, and I'd like to do so by congratulating all of our graduates. I hope you were all relaxed enough as you came across the stage to enjoy the experience, and that you will remember the day fondly for the rest of your lives with a well-deserved sense of accomplishment. But before you leave for the forum for your well-earned refreshments, there are just two things we would like you to know. The first is that despite what some might suggest, your generation is a whole lot smarter, a whole lot harder working, energetic, and fun than mine ever was. And as you leave the university, we would like you to feel confident in yourselves. We would also like you to feel proud of yourselves because we certainly are very proud of you. And we hope that you'll keep in touch with us wherever you may be and whatever you may be doing. It's always nice to hear from you. The second is that we're constantly told by those who employed the university's graduates that the qualities they most admire in them are their capacity for hard work and commitment to the job their ability to solve problems, <clears throat> can solve problems constructively, and their nice open personalities that enable them to work well with others. 
and of course, above all, as Dr. Stefan, you mentioned, the values. Each of you has these traits and you should feel confident of them. We're sure that you will be able to use them to develop careers that you really enjoy. But just before I finish, I'd like to turn my attention to those who are sitting in front of me and those who are sitting behind me. I doubt if there is anyone here who has graduated today who could have done so without the help of their families and friends sitting in front of me, all the support and help from their tutors and lecturers sitting behind me. And I would like all the graduates to show their appreciation of the support they've had by giving them a warm round of applause. Congratulations, we're all genuinely and deeply proud of you. That concludes the formal part of the proceedings. May I remind you that refreshments await you in the Alban Arena, and I would ask you to stand while the academic procession leaves the Abbey. Thank you.